डॉक्टर राजेश चावला सीनियर कंसल्टेंट रेस्पिरेटरी मेडिसिन क्रिटिकल केयर इन दस्थ अपोलो हॉस्पिटल न्यू डेली पलमरी एम्बोलिज्म इज अ कंडीशन वेयर देर इज एन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन टू दी दी वेसल्स विच कम आउट ऑफ द हार्ट एंड देर इज अ ड्रॉप इन दी प्रोफ्यूजन ऑफ द लंग पलमरी एम्बोलिज्म इज एम्बोलिस इन द पलमरी आर्ट्री दिस कैन रिजल्ट इन इफ इट इज अ वेरी मैसिव it can result in a death of a patient if a doctor can recognize the mortality can be reduced to less than 5% if he can recognize and treat it otherwise the mortality of pulmonary embolism is more than 30% pulmonary embolism means embolus in the pulmonary artery the pulmonary embolism could be a mild or it could be a massive pulmonary embolism you call it a massive pulmonary embolism when there is a drop in blood pressure and these are the patient if not treated well may not survives if there is no contraindication then clot is lysed with a therapy called the thrombolysis where the clot is lysed and the perfusion or the blood supply is restored if there are no contraindications then these patients are given anticoagulants for 3 to 6 months and if there is unprovoked many a times life long also the oral anticoagulants after the person has developed pulmonary embolism should be started on the first day and uh, then if you are given the warfarin or the vitamin k antagonist then you have to uh, the do the pt in these patients which should be kept between 1.8 1.8 to 2.5 times now there are new, new oral anticoagulants like the dabigatron apixaban and rivarexaban which can be given and which do not require any blood monitoring in the managing these patients so pulmonary embolism is a condition which has a mortality of 30% can be reduced to 5% with treatment then the if person has a massive pulmonary embolism you should give a thrombolysis if there is no contraindication all other patients should receive anticoagulants and after they have received the the parenteral or the interim the 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 anticoagulation in the hospital which could be happening or low molecular weight happening that should be followed with oral anticoagulants for 3 months at least 3 months in most of the patients and then prolonged if and prolonged if they have any uh, unprovoked factors